Hi everyone, welcome to your nephrology rotation. This is a quick five minute video to provide an overview on what to expect for your time on our service. Nephrology is more than just dialysis and the goal of the rotation is for you to gain a better appreciation and approach to diseases of the kidney system. This can include electrolyte disturbances, hematuria and proteinuria, as well as managing dialysis. However, expect to see a lot of presentations for acute nephrological conditions, as well as management of chronic kidney disease. The rotation is a four week rotation that is broken up into two parts, two weeks on the acute service and two weeks on the consult service. If resident numbers permit, you may also get an opportunity to spend a week on the transplant service. There's also an opportunity to uh, participate in urgent clinics at down at the Sheldon Schumer, as well as with all rotations, uh, opportunities to cover overnight and weekend call. The teams are consistent of medical students, residents in the PGY one to three year, occasionally a fellow as well as the attending staff. The acute service is our primary admitting service and provides multidisciplinary care to patients who are currently receiving kidney replacement therapy. The team will include physicians, pharmacists, nursing, social work, OTPT, as well as transition services. You will see quite a number of medicine presentations in our patients, including dialysis related complications to also non-dialysis related issues such as sepsis, or as well as patients who receive or who require an expedited GN workup. Typically patients who are receiving hemodialysis or peritoneal dialysis are admitted to our service, presuming they do not have a surgical issue or do not require medicine subspecialty care, such as an acute stroke, ACS, or ICU care. You should expect to meet the team at 8 a.m. on Unit 37 or on weekdays, and will be attending over four to eight patients per day, plus assessing patients for admission from the emergency room. The consult service, on the other hand, provides nephrological advice for patients who are not admitted to nephrology. And this can include acute kidney injuries to electrolyte disturbances, as well as providing and ma managing dialysis for uh, patients who are not admitted to us. However, this is a fraction of the presentations you can see, and so uh, certainly this can vary depending on week to week and day to day. Typically, the team will meet at 8 a.m., although the location does vary uh, depending on the staff, and you should expect to see at least one consult per day with maybe four to six patients for follow-up. Like many other medicine services, we do expect residents to cover call, and you can expect to cover five to eight overnight calls per month. And now this is defined as home call per para guidelines. Uh, and on some nights, you may actually be working with a nocturnist, although this is quite variable uh, depending on the coverage. If there is a nocturnist, however, you are still responsible for covering ward issues, as well as seeing any direct admissions to the uh, nephrology service. And depending on volume, the nocturnist may still assign you ED consults uh, depending on the volume. There's a few tips and tricks on how to survive nephrocall. First of all, read the orientation manual. A lot of work has gone into this manual and it is loaded with great information on how to assess and manage nephrology patients overnight. Second, many of our patients have updated medication lists and histories on our nephrology EMR called the Paris, which the nurses on Unit 37 will have access to and be happy to provide you this information. Third, urgent dialysis overnight can take a couple hours to organize depending on whether or not the on-call nurse needs to come in. So if after completing an initial assessment of the patient, uh, if you think that they require dialysis, it's best to let the nephro staff or fellow know early so that they can get the ball rolling. Patients who are not currently on dialysis or transplants who receive their implant greater than one year ago typically uh, should be assessed by the medical teaching service or the hospice group unless nephrology expertise is required. Uh, you may still be asked to see this patient overnight, uh, but uh, again, if there's any concerns about admission, please talk to your staff or fellow. Lastly, don't be afraid to ask for help. The nephrology group here is more than happy to help overnight, and there's no such thing as a stupid question. During your time with us, you will be assigned one to two urgent assessment clinics uh, that are done at the Sheldon Schumer campus downtown. You can expect to see up to three consults per afternoon clinic, averaging about one hour per consult. And most of these patients have been referred to nephrology from the community for concerns such as a hematuria and proteinuria, a query, glomerular nephritis, as well as new chronic kidney disease or rapid uh, GFR decline. 
there is a lot of teaching opportunities throughout the week, including rounds, which include pathology rounds on Wednesdays, city-wide renal rounds on Thursdays, as well as Friday noon rounds. All of these are currently done by Zoom, and you should get the links uh, throughout the week. There's also an online series of teaching videos created by us at Fellows, and these consist of four 30-minute uh, videos covering the basics of nephrology, including AKI, chronic kidney disease management, GNs, as well as transplant. And lastly, the staff are more than happy to teach you throughout the week uh, during uh, your time with them. In order to get the most out of your nephrology rotation, please refer to the orientation manual for house staff, which is loaded with great information, tips and tricks, and call guidelines. But for the urgent clinics, uh, email the staff the week before for charts and a referral package, and also look out for unique opportunities such as line insertions, line removals, as well as biopsy observations. We love feedback, and if any time you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out to the program administrator or the nephrology program director or the fellows and the staff that you work with. We hope you have a great experience on this rotation and consider nephrology as a career in your future.